M0 FXB, Yesu FTX1 and FL Digi. If you look here, we're controlling my my device. You can see the frequency just changing there as I see the mouse swirling there. Completely working. We've got a signal meter here and it says they're volts at the moment. So there's a lot you can do with this program, but I just thought I'd show you that it does actually work. I've selected, you know, for configuration, FT991 here and COM18. So when you plug in the USB cable, just go right click device manager and you'll see you've got two comms that show up. But I'm going to show you. Uh, if you scroll down on the left, you'll see if you go to comms, double click and you'll see you've got silicon con labs and it's it's they are named differently enhanced and underneath is standard so it's com 18 enhanced your number will be different you shouldn't need to download drivers with windows 10 11 but you never know you might but they're all on the yesu website which is just yesu.com that's how you get it a lot of people are messing with me saying they can't find that once you connect you you click you click here where it says at the bottom it says in it click that and it should just connect. I haven't changed the board rate. It's three eight four hundred. You can change your board rate if you need to. If you look here, I'm just changing frequencies, and it's you know the cat control is working really well. And we can go. You've got main there. Here, you drop down. I wonder if it's got C four FM. It has C four FM. Is there? Um, this is on the night. I've selected 991 LSB USB and file config. If you go to setup, config setup, you've got restore, send, polling, etc. But all I had to do was literally just when this window appeared, put in the com and it just started working. Now, there's a lot you can do. Watch lots of videos on people using FL Digi. And even I haven't really used FL Digi very much. I just want to see where I was now. There I was there. So any tips, let me know. I'm just seeing if it will work. Can you hear that? And you've got sliders here. You've got buttons. So you can turn things on and off, tune. And yes, the PTT did actually work. Let's go other, band. Let's go to, is that changing? It didn't change. Now the screen's timed out. Just tap that. General, okay. Well, it didn't change, but I've literally just put this on. Sliders. Sliders there. Noise reduction. And we are using 991, aren't we? So maybe it's not completely correct. Squelch, mic gain. Back to main. But if you want to sit at your PC and just control it, you don't have to keep leaning over to the radio. It's fine for that, isn't it? And uh, you've got some tips here. When you hover over, you've got some tips. So it's all light, light up in yellow. All right, well, I think that's enough for now because I just thought I just got it connected. I thought I'd just show that the cat control is working. I'm using a normal micro USB cable, um, you know, data one, of course, good quality one, connected to the USB, which is on the left side under the GPS. And have I got a GPS signal? I have, look. GPS signal there as well, working great. See if I can view that. I'm gonna go press and hold F. And go forward, forward. And go to APRS list and GPS. There it is. Bye for now, all the best, 7-3.